At yung punto tong hayan, sa, maka- sa ilang sandali lang, yung Muslim demographs. Para pag galing po doon sa point na yun, doon ako magkoconnect, bakit ano, gano'ng ka-importante itong demographs na ito. Pwede bang i-play natin? to research. In order for a culture to maintain itself for more than 25 years, there must be a fertility rate of 2.11 children per family. With anything less, the culture will decline. Historically, no culture has ever reversed a 1.9 fertility rate. A rate of 1.3, impossible to reverse. Because it would take 80 to 100 years to correct itself and there is no economic model that can sustain a culture during that time. In other words, if two sets of parents each have one child, there are half as many children as parents. If those children have one child, then there are one-fourth as many grandchildren as grandparents. If only a million babies are born in 2006, it's hard to have two million adults enter the workforce in 2026. As the population shrinks, so does the culture. As of 2007, the fertility rate in France was 1.8, England 1.6, Greece 1.3, Germany 1.3, Italy 1.2, Spain 1.1. Across the entire European Union of 31 countries, the fertility is a mere 1.38. Historical research tells us these numbers are impossible to reverse. In a matter of years, Europe as we know it will cease to exist. Yet the population of Europe is not declining. Why? Immigration. Islamic immigration. Of all population growth in Europe since 1990, 90% has been Islamic immigration. France, 1.8 children per family. Muslims, 8.1. In southern France, traditionally one of the most populated church regions in the world, there are now more mosques than churches. 30% of children ages 20 and younger are Islamic. In the larger cities, such as Nice, Marseille, and Paris, that number has grown to 45%. By 2027, one in five Frenchmen will be Muslim. In just 39 years, France will be an Islamic Republic. In the last 30 years, the Muslim population of Great Britain rose from 82,000 to 2.5 million a 30-fold increase. There are over 1,000 mosques, many of them former churches. In the Netherlands, 50% of all newborns are Muslim. And in only 15 years, half of the population of the Netherlands will be Muslim. In Russia, there are over 23 million Muslims. That's one out of five Russians. 40% of the entire Russian army will be Islamic in just a few short years. Currently in Belgium, 25% of the population and 50% of all newborns are Muslim. The government of Belgium has stated one-third of all European children will be born to Muslim families by 2025, just 17 years away. 
The German government, the first to talk about this publicly, recently released a statement saying, the fall in the German population can no longer be stopped. Its downward spiral is no longer reversible. It will be a Muslim state by the year 2050. Muammar al-Gaddafi of Libya said, there are signs that Allah will grant victory to Islam in Europe without swords, without guns, without conquest. We don't need terrorists. We don't need homicide bombers. The 50 plus million Muslims in Europe will turn it into a Muslim continent within a few decades. There are currently 52 million Muslims in Europe. The German government said that number is expected to double in the next 20 years to 104 million. Closer to home, the numbers tell a similar story. Right now, Canada's fertility rate is 1.6, nearly a full point below what is required to sustain a culture. And Islam is now the fastest growing religion. Between 2001 and 2006, Canada's population increased by 1.6 million, 1.2 of those, immigration. In the United States, the current fertility rate of American citizens is 1.6. With the influx of the Latino nations, the rate increases to 2.11, the bare minimum required to sustain a culture. In 1970, there were 100,000 Muslims in America. Today, there are over nine million. The world is changing. It's time to wake up. Three years ago, a meeting of 24 Islamic organizations was held in Chicago. The transcripts of that meeting showed in detail their plans to evangelize America through journalism, politics, education, and more. They said, we must prepare ourselves for the reality that in 30 years, there will be 50 million Muslims living in America. The world that we live in is not the world in which our children and grandchildren will live. The Catholic Church recently reported that Islam has just surpassed their membership numbers. Some studies show that at Islam's current rate of growth, in five to seven years, it will be the dominant religion of the world. You have just seen the demographics in Europe and USA. How about in Asia? Currently, here in the Philippines, we have about 10 to 11 million Muslims living in different regions of the country. They represent 14% of the population. According to the Office of the Muslim Affairs, there are approximately 50,000 Muslims from different tribes from Mindanao that are now in different regions in the whole country. Visayas and Luzon is driven. Uh, these people are transferring to Visayas in Luzon for economic education and Islamic propagation factors. These people are good in peddling and money matters. Most of their young people are seeking better education and better living. The parents, however, are the propagators of their religion. Islam, the growth of their Balik Islam program, has steadily increased each year. Some Catholic priests even got converted. Even Iglesia ni Manalo ministers got converted. Even Baptist pastor got converted into Islam. Now, what is this? What is the message here? Have you ever think why they are here in Batangas? I was in Batangas City several years ago. There are now two big masjid in Batangas. I talked to the community and they told me they are keep on growing. Now, why are they are here in our backyards? Because in the past years, we failed perhaps to send missionaries in Mindanao. The Lord is moving. Migration of Muslim is God's hand on His schedule. He is the one is making the timetable for his Matthew 24, 14. And so, brothers and sisters, in the past five years of being a C5, I developed a material that will help pastors and workers to understand what is Islam and how to, how to cross, how to bridge 
the gospel through the Quran. And so if you are interested, because I only, only have very short time, if you are interested, you can contact me. I have my email address, apostle53 at yahoo.com. And we can conduct one day or two days backyard mission seminar. It is very important because I heard some testimonies who went to Malaysia, even in Saudi Arabia, who had been trained by other organizations, but they failed when they arrived there. They're almost having a problem that may cost their lives. So, this is the ministry that God has given me. So, this is, I'm trying to share to our leaders. If you are interested, I know that somewhere here in Tagaytay, there are many Maranaos in this area. So, you need to be equipped. We need to be ready because this migration is God's movement for His glory. So, I thank you for this privilege given to me to share with you again. If you would like to ask my number for a training, then I will just be sitting down there and you can get my phone number or even my email address. Thank you.